evening, folks. Welcome to Muscatine tonight for your battle between the DeWitt Sabres and the Muscatine Muskies. Coming into tonight, DeWitt is 2-11 conference play, and the Muskies are 4-9. The last time these two teams met, the Muskies did win 56-53. to Definitely, uh, you know, you look at the teams, they're very evenly matched. Um, DeWitt has four guys that have scored over 100 points a game. The Muskies have five. Um, turnovers are very even um, for the most part. The free throw percentages, we have a 5% you know, lead, 60 to 65. Three-point percentage for them is a little bit better than us. They're at 31.3, and we're at 27. And then, like, a field goal percentage, they're at 44, and we're at 41. They average about 52 points a game and allow about 61. And the Muskies average 58 points a game, and we allow 62. So if you look statistically, they're very evenly matched team. Um, what's going to come down to tonight, I think, is execution. Um, you know, working on what we do good and moving the ball around and getting easy shots and kind of going from there. Starting lineups for the DeWitt Sabres are Paul Kuhn, number zero. Number 10, Michael Snyder. Number 12, Landon Schroeder, who is six foot six, so that's a big kid. And then we have Gus Pickup. And then we have Matthew Water. That's the senior. They have uh, one, two, three starting seniors. And the Muskies have uh, Hodges starting tonight, number two. Number five, Craye. Number 11, Hopper. Number 15, Lees Camp. And number 23, Henderson. I actually really like this starting lineup tonight. You know, I think that's a good lineup to have out there right out of the gate. I really like all five of those guys. And they each bring something different to the table. They do, and they also bring a lot of confidence. Yep. And, you know, like we saw the other night in the girls' game where Mason, you know, popped a three right, right off the tip. You know, we could very easily be looking at something like that with these guys. Right. So they're they're I, ready to roll. Yep. I did see that Emmert was warm enough. Um, he does have his boot off, so he would appear to be subbed in at some point, I'm sure, tonight. Um, it's good to see that he's healthy again. So hopefully the injuries are gone, the injury bug is gone, and uh, we can just play basketball from here on out, if you know what I mean. So... Uh, the do it looks to be supporting uh, purple uniforms with gold numbers and gold trim and your muskies are in their home whites with uh, the gold numbers and the gold trim and they're going you, you know talking about these teams being evenly matched the uniforms yeah we I have know, to talk about right this. I mean it, central to wit has the same colors we do. Correct. I don't know what to deal with this is. I have we're in the Mac first. Right. You should have you should have like, you know, some kind of copyright to it or something. Yeah, I mean like I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I have uh I have some family into it. Um played football there back in a couple, you know, a couple five years ago. My two cousins played football for DeWitt. Very good football program, very good football coach. Um so, but I don't know how that translates into their basketball program um, or anything else. I don't think it translates at all, actually. Yeah. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see how tonight works out for these guys. Uh, we definitely need W to kind of get things going in the right direction here at the, you know, kind of peak at the right time, so to speak. And we're going to get ready here for our national anthem. So uh, I'll shut up for a couple minutes and. We'll come back after the National Anthem.
gentlemen, I think the Muskies are ready to play. So, yeah, we're going to get ready for the night here. Uh, like I said, comes in with like 2 and 11 pounds of spice. This week, 4 and 9. Um, so, hopefully the Muskies can get another W here tonight and get ready for uh, the stretch run here into the postseason. Which is kind of weird that, I mean, they basically take every team and you at least get one opportunity. I do like that. So, hopefully, uh, you know, they can get on a roll at the right time. And looks like Wieskamp will be doing the jumping. They're not using their six foot. Oh, yeah, they are using the six foot six kid to jump. Wieskamp does get up, but the tip does go to do it. Muskies come out in a man. Ooh. And we do get the turnover right out of the game. Nicely done. Wieskamp drives, kicks back out. Ugh. I think he could have took that the whole way. Inside the Cray for two. Nice ball movement. Great backdoor cut. Good start for the Muskies. Tight man defense here by the Muskies. Trying to deny that pass there, Wieskamp on. Schneider pull up Jay. Rebound. Big rebound there. Look at the big long arms. That's off the DeWitt. Long arms. Uh, number 12. And uh, so goes out of bounds and it'll be musky ball. Definitely need to go back to moving the ball around and setting up that inside outside game. I think that worked really well on that first possession. Wies camp outside. I think he could take him if he just drove on it. Cray underneath. Out to Henderson. Got to spread the floor, guys. Down to eight seconds left on the shot clock. Little floater gets blocked. It'll still be ours with three seconds left on the shot clock here. Loose ball underneath. Henderson picks it up, fires it, and off we got a shot clock violation. Ooh, big three there. Off the side of the rim, rebound there to Cray. Another one of his rebounds. Working the ball around here into Cray again for two. Giving the Muskies a four to nothing lead. Inside. Another three. Off the rim. Rebound. Henderson. Nicely done. Hodges inside for two on a little turnaround jumper. Making it six to nothing. Muskies take the lead. Playing really good defense so far. Making them work for each basket. I like it a lot. Ooh, a tip by Hodges there. And uh, Cray bringing it up the court. Take it all the way. Gives it off to Thompson. Or Hopper. Wieskamp trying to drive in. Takes it all the way. Doesn't get the foul. Cray right there for the rebound and the board. Up 8 to nothing and a quick timeout there by DeWitt Sabres. I like it. 
You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. And we're back here, folks. The DeWitt ball looks like the Muskies are setting up a press here. See if we can get a quick turnover here. And we almost got one. Still the same five in there. We got a charge. Picked up the charge there. That'd be the first foul of the night, and that's on DeWitt. Inside, oh, Wies Camp tries to get the fall. Hopper couldn't get the shot, and Wies Camp got the rebound, and he couldn't get his fall as well. Another three, no good. In and out, rebound, Wies Camp. Looks like they're having an off night on their threes so far. And we got a walk by Wies Camp. That's a very seldom happens. A little bit over, well, we're right under four minutes here. And it's Muskie lead eight to nothing. Really good start for the Muskies. Couldn't ask for a much better start. Number 40 in the game for DeWitt. Mitchell Maher, six, another six foot five. Uh oh, big three there off. Oh, good hustle there by number twenty four for Dewitt. Inside, wow, Dewitt just can't find anything. Hopper brings it up, sets up the offense. Looking. And the Cray, who's got the hot hand. Another one for Cray. He's, he's got the hot hand. He's up to eight points so far. Wow. Good inside look there. Having a really good game. He's feeling it right now. Got a pick. You got to yell, Wees Camp. Pick, 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 pick. Help him out a little bit. No oh, good fake there. Rebound Hodges up ahead to Cray. Slow down, nothing there. Got to slow down there. You got to take take a step back and nothing there, but get the turnover there by Cray. A little inexperience maybe. A little pullback three. Finally, DeWitt breaks it. Number 23, Gus Pickup with his first points of the night. Inside, two more. Henderson, 12 to three game now. Another pull-up three by Pickup, and he's feeling it. That's two in a row for him. We're 
working inside. Uh, hang on to it. Emmert and I believe that's Thompson that are both in there now. Thompson loses the handle on it there. Emmert tries to save it on the pass. So Thompson now guarding their hot shooter. And another inside. Henderson tried to pick up the foul, draw on the charge. Got a foul away. What was that? That was on Emmert. Team foul. So, going to the line now. Or no, it's the first team foul. I'm sorry. On the Muskies. A minute into the game. A minute left into the first quarter. And that's our first foul. That's really good, guys. Thompson. Oh, good pass there. Good work there by DeWitt. Making it 10 to 12 now. Muskie's getting a, got a little bit, you know, a little bit goofy here at the end. Cray inside. Hodges over to Henderson. Down to 13 seconds on the shot clock, and Hodges gets up the steal. Emmert hustling back on the other end, and we got a tie game at 12 now. This will be the last shot of the first quarter. Inside. Nice pump fake by Emmert. Gets the shot off, but doesn't get its fall. So after one, we're tied up at 12 here. The Muskies jump out to a big lead and do it, fights their way back. So we'll go into the second quarter, tied 12 all. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. From a clogged toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing. Okay, folks, we're back here. Musky ball. Emmer almost losing it. Yeah. Telegraph pass, and we do have a foul. So that'd be the second team foul on DeWitt there. Wees Camp. So we got Emmert, Wees Camp, Hodges, Gray E. Wees Camp up. Oh, and Thompson out there. Wees Camp couldn't get it to fall, but he will go to the line for two more. And he does get the first one to fall.
Second one's up and good. So it gives the Muskies a 14 to 12 lead. Little semi press here. Just kind of pestering them to get the ball up the court here. One thing I really like is how well our guards move their feet. I really like how they move their feet and are pressuring. We got a foul there on Cray. A little body foul. When our guards are on defense, I really like how they move their feet and really force the guys to work hard. So Emmert takes a seat and in is Hopper. Possible three. Good, nice, good defense there. Oh, we do have a foul on Cray picking up his second. And he will take a seat for Bettis. Be DeWitt ball. We got a nice turnover there, but then they got it back. Trying to force the ball up ahead. Good work there by Bettis inside to get the steal. Hodges bringing it up. Wees camp all the way. And the foul. Great play. Great play by Wees camp. Way to drive it right to the hoop. And pick up the little floater and then pick up the foul. That was really nice work there by Wees Camp. Chance for a three point play to extend the Muskie lead. That's 17 to 12. Wees Camp doing a really good job there. You need this for a three point play here. And he's pretty much money from the line. You don't want to foul him. I just, look at how good he moves his feet. I mean, it's just amazing. That is doing really good defense there. And an ah, rimmer in for a three. Gosh darn it. Just when you think we're going to start to pull away, they hit a big three. Oh, good. Good. Good work there. Get the rebound. Good job. Wees Camp 3. Gets the shooter's roll. Big way to answer right there. Making it 20 to 15. Lopez getting ready to come in. Five second violation for number 23. Pickup. Lopez coming in for, looks like Thompson. Thompson will go take a seat. Got to move, boys. Move without the ball. Help. There you go. Down to five seconds left on the shot clock. Hodges, pull away jumper. Pull up jumper. Oh, Lopez almost gets the rebound, but does get it swatted away. Oh, boy. Ah, I almost got the steal. Fade away jumper there by DeWitt. Falls. So we're looking at 17 to 20. A little bit over four and a half left till halftime. Knocked away there by number 24.
Three. We scam. Nicely done. Oh, almost got the steal there by Wieskamp. Great hustle. Help. Ah. Got a timeout for DeWitt with a 23 to 19 lead for the Muskies with 4.07 left in the second quarter. And uh, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see hustler quality for yourself. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did so you be know musky. Rivo can also... So it'll be musky ball here. Up 23 to 19 with four minutes left here. And uh, until halftime. See if we can get another bucket here to extend the lead. Ooh. We... Wieskamp stepped out of bounds. Wow. Gosh darn it. And we are picking up that. Well, we were picking up the press there. Inside, nothing for DeWitt there. Rebound, Muskies. Oh, telegraph pass there. Easy layup on the other end. Gosh darn it. Hodges. Hodges tries to go in. Doesn't get it. Gets the rebound. Kicked out to Cray. You're a Hopper for three. Big three there for Hopper. Making it 26-21. We need a stop here, guys. Get a stop. And uh, get it rolling again. Bucket there, in and out. DeWitt's just having one of those nights. It's not really, baskets aren't really falling for him. Wieskamp around, looks at Hodges. Three again, a little bit long that time there by Hopper. Oh, Wieskamp almost gets the steal. Good hustle there by Wieskamp. Picking up a foul there. I believe that's Hodges. Did they call that on Hodges? Yep, a push. With a little bit over two minutes left until halftime. DeWitt will go to the line for two. Uh, four team fouls on each side for both teams. So Hodges picking up his first foul. Pretty clean game so far. You know, only four fouls on each side. Don't know if that's... A combination of really good defense and letting them play a little bit, or and he does make the second one to make it 22 to 26. So we got a four point lead, a little bit over two minutes left. Can't really have... oh, all the way, all the way. Oh, and it gets blocked. Great block there. Oh, right decision, just. Underneath number twelve, that's their six foot six junior Schroeder scoring with a minute thirty left. Twenty four twenty six game here. 
coach as we head into halftime. We got any information for halftime? Do we have a halftime show? We do. And working the ball around. We're down to nine seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, Emmert's open. Pump fake and baseline. Jay not there, but he gets his own rebound. Way to follow your shot. And he picks up the foul. Really good work there by Emmert underneath. Followed his own shot, got his own rebound, put it up again, missed it, got a rebound, and picks up the foul, which would be DeWitt's fifth. Really big possession here. We cannot go away without points here. Somebody's got to move without the ball. Almost gave up a turnover there. Good job by Wieskamp. Those long arms saved us there. 17 seconds left. Wieskamp drives, puts up the jumper. No good. Bettis, great work by Bettis, almost getting the rebound. On As the we head into halftime here, folks, we do have the Muskie uh, Game Day squad presenting a hip hop routine that was learned by the dancers at the MA Camp this Sunday morning. Ah. We'll be able to show you that. As always, we'll pull the sound down a little bit so we don't go into Facebook jail, but we'll try and give you as much of it as we can. The dance that they'll be doing tonight will actually be showcased during their spring show on yeah. Sunday, February 4th at 2 p.m. here at the high school. It's only five bucks. Great Sunday routine. Okay. For five bucks. It that's, is. That's and a great deal. As we think about all that, we've still got 2.8 seconds in the tie game. Yep. So, Big man. possession here. Need something to give us a lead here for halftime. This will obviously be the last possession here, I would assume. Unless something goofy happens. I don't know if I like that shot for it. But I don't know that you had much options. Yeah. So we'll go into the half tie, 26 all, and uh, get ready to watch the girls perform. We'll hang right here. We may have a presentation. Oh, senior night for me. Thank you. 
Roberto Solis. Next is Abigail Tia, the daughter of Nicholas Doe and Mercy David. Plans are to go to college and major in computer science, potential minor in French. Abigail Tia. Those are your senior prom squad members. Let's give them all a big hand. Isabel Sand, Roberto Solis, and Abigail Tia. Tonight, the Musky Pumps will present a hip hop routine to fast motion. The team would like to thank the seniors for all their leadership, dedication, and energy, and positively changing the team for the better. See the Muskie Pons in their sprint showcase on Sunday at the MHS main gym starting at 2 o'clock. The team will present all their basketball and football dances as well as the co ed dance, father daughter dance, and area dance. And now your Muskie Pons. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here, guys, after that nice routine by the girls. Did he mention Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf. Mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel.
River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. And folks, we're back now, getting ready for the second half with a 26 to 26 game here. Uh, you know, the Muskies did a lot of really good things there in the first half. Started out really hot. Kind of went through a little bit of a what I'm going to call a hole, where they kind of just went flat. And they're they got like you know they're really streaky tonight. Um, you know, they streak really good, and then all of a sudden it's like, ooh. It's almost like they don't know, you know, we, we haven't been here too often where we build a six or an eight point lead, and then it's like, oh man, are we supposed to be here, you know? And, and Yeah. You know, I think the interesting thing is how they, like you said, how they handle that as a team. Right. And when you get out there, it's so hard not to take your foot off the gas. Right. But you have to. Exactly. Have to keep, it's kind of that thing about, like, well, I'm going to make a change on the fly. I'm not going to wait until half time. Right. Same thing here. Don't stop it's doing what you're doing. doing. Whatever got you the six-point lead, yeah. keep doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. And it seems like it's they kind of went in and out of that little zone, and, and uh, it was pretty tough to get it done at times for them. But the good news is, I think our defense is helping keep the ball out of the hoop for them. Right. You know, yeah, they're missing some shots, but, but I don't think that's just them having a bad night. I think right. that's us causing a bad night. And like I said earlier, I love the way our guards are moving our feet tonight on defense. You know, and, and really, they haven't had too many gimme shots. Like you said, I mean, they've all been having in traffic or, you know, tough angles and I mean a lot of really good stuff tonight by the Muskies so far. Now we just need to finish the game, you know. Or... Yeah, and you know this is one of those points where conditioning is going to come into play. Right. And maybe not so much like an absolute conditioning but relative to Central to win. Right. You know. Exactly. We're all going to be, they're all going to be tired. I don't know why I'm saying we, my butt's not down there. Right. But they're all, <laughs> they're all going to be tired. Exactly. The question is, Who's still got enough gas left in their legs I, to I, get their jump shots to not come up short? Right. Things like that. So we're starting with, uh, I believe, the same starting five. Uh, no, we don't have Wieskamp out there. Oh, yeah, there he is. So we got Wieskamp, Hodges, Henderson, Trey, and Pop. Sounds like a winning combination. I like it. Maybe we should play the lotto with these numbers. <laughs> That'd be a nice day, wouldn't it? What is it, 700 million? Maybe? Ooh. Nice inside work there. Ball movement there. Come on, Lee. Good drive. Oh, take that. Take that shot. I think it might have been a little too deep, but yeah. Thirty-one twenty-six on that three. Not the start we needed for the Muskies here. Good drive there by Hopper. I think he had that drive before if he pulls up, you know, instead of getting so deep underneath, I think he could have done the same thing there. You know, the nice thing was that was patience. Yep. 
That was complete patience. That's what got us the shot. Oh, come on, Weiss. Forced it off of DeWitt. That's our ball. Yes, it is. Good work there by Weiss Camp to get the turnover. Nice move there by Hopper inside. Make it a one point game. Get the rebound. Nice rebound. Thompson there. So down by one with a little bit over four minutes left. Sorry about the scoreboard, folks. We'll have it back here in just a minute. It was attacked by a runaway eighth grader. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be back here. Ah, uh, Hodges picks up the foul. So. Going to the line for the three-point play here. Does get it to roll, making it 34-30. Hopper for three. Get in there. Nice. Stop. Tip it. Okay. All right. So 34 33. A little bit over three minutes left. Nice. Good defense there. No, nothing there. Nothing there. Don't have the numbers. Got to pull back on the offense. Careful. Nice job there, Wees Camp under. Got a foul there on number 12. Muskie's up by one with a little bit under three minutes left. 
the third quarter. Ah, good job. Pretty turnaround jumper, no good. Really good look. I like that. Double dribble by number 23 there. Just pick up. Cray fade away, not there. Thirty-six, thirty-five. Big three for Weezy. Just short. Great work there by Cray. There it is, three. Three back on the other side. Thompson to Cray, nice work down below. Great extra pass there. That's kind of ball vision, or court vision we're gonna need going to be with this game. It's gonna be those one extra passes, seeing that open shooter in the corner, that's gonna be able to get us over the Oh, get that. So we're down to three seconds left in the uh, third quarter with the Muskies up by one. I'd like to go into the fourth quarter with the lead here. We need a defensive stop here. And we're having a conversation on meeting of the minds again. Is it meeting of the mind? I'm going to keep going back to that. I know you are. I like it. So what are we doing? This is a pretty long, long. in-depth conversation. Yeah. They're looking at the clock a lot. I don't know if they're thinking they're going to change that. Maybe, maybe they're going to take some more time off. Oh, they're doing something to it there. Four o'clock. Huh. Five seconds? That much of a difference? They must have seen it not. 
Wow, how do you see that thing not stop? Four seconds on the shot clock, so it's not a big match. Yeah. We got a foul underneath on Henderson. That's his second, but that's not a shooting foul, so we're all right. We're all right. That's the team's second foul. I like the uh, out of bounds on the side versus the nice. Oh, thought he had the steal there. I love there. Michael's hands straight up, straight up. <laughs> I am absolutely straight up referee. Yeah. I'm still going to get the poke. And we got a push. Oh, there we go. On number 40. That, that is great, huge. Great acting by Michael Holmes. Exactly. <laughs> he, he did push off, but. He, he I mean, absolutely pushed off. But, no question. But some really good acting. But he definitely made sure they saw it. I'm sure after that pull, maybe it was a makeup call. Right. I'm not sure. But my goodness. There's a great shot of the actor there for the Oh, we did get the replay on that. Yeah. Well, the band has uh, left the building for the night, so maybe we can hear ourselves think. I, you know, I love, <laughs> I the, love band. the band. <laughs> I love the band, but holy cow! We make it really loud in here, and again, great, uh, great environment, great atmosphere. But when you're trying to hear the guy, right, talk and sit next to you and make sure that the sound sound piece is going out, it it, can be it's, tough. it's tough. Here I am, one. Yeah. Could be worse, I guess. And DeWitt comes out with a full press. Don't want to give us an easy yeah, shot. You know, I'm not even. That's Wow. That was somewhat close. Closer than I would have existed. Yeah, so we're going to go into the fourth quarter with a one point lead. 40 to 39 over the DeWitt State. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated, call us for your next remodel. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Okay, folks, we are back for the fourth quarter here. It'll be DeWitt Ball with the Muskies up by one. Need some good work here. Good defensive stand here to give us a one point, keep that one point lead. I'm gonna call that a foul on Thompson underneath. Be the team's third. So we do have a long ways to go here for fouls to get online. Long three there, making it 42 to 40. Nice look inside. Really good look there. Ah. Yeah. 
There you go, East Camp. 41 to 42. Good rebound there. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, wow. Picked up the foul. That'll be a shooting foul for Cray. Does get one out of two to tie the game. In and out. Now they're getting real picky with their foul. Real touchy here with their foul. So going to the line number zero, this will be two. All right, Toby, so I got a philosophical basketball question. Okay. We've been going back and forth, tie game up by one, up by two, tie game. As a coach, or even as a player, do you prefer to be off filter on the score where it's like 43-42, you score, you win, if you lose, you go home? Or do you prefer to be tie, lead, tie, lead, tie? I like the tie, lead. I don't like the one point difference with the house, too. So I'd rather have a. That's tipped by DeWitt, so that'll be musty ball. I just don't like the one point differential. I personally like the tie, lead, tie, tie, stuff like that. But here we're going to drain a three, and it ain't going to matter. And then, you know, the one thing I will say, as a fan, I like the off kill. Do you? Because it's win, lose. Right. There's no safety net at the time. Right. I, I can totally see that, too. So, again, as a coach, I think I'm probably you. Right. <laughs> like the tie or win, tie or win. We can still go into overtime. Right. I don't think I'm going to play to it either way, though. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm just going to no, get as no, many points no, as I can. No! Big three there. Forty-seven, forty-two game here. Yep. One extra Got step. a little excited. I might think about a timeout right here. We got four left. You know, maybe talk about it here. Say, hey guys, settle down. We really can't afford points here. Oh, that's tough. Actually, we've still got all five times. Yeah, so I don't know why we didn't use one there. I, I think we should have used one there. There you go, all the way, we can't get the roll and does get the foul though, so he will be going to the line for two. He does get the first one to fall. Henderson coming back in for Thompson. There it is for 44 to 49.
So if you're Coach Torelli, what do you say to Nava Um, You know, if it's me, I'm like, we still got four and a half minutes left. You know, we're down by eight. Let's get a bucket here. You know, doesn't necessarily have to be a three. You know, let's just get a bucket and then play defense and get a turn. You know, I mean, we're not out of this game by any means. You know, so settle down, guys. It's okay. And, uh, you know, go from there. Quite get the roll there. You know, the one thing I would be thinking about is trying to make sure that you're attacking the hoop because the last thing we want to be doing now is have tired legs shooting threes. Right. Gives you a lot more margin for error. Working inside. Yeah. Wees Camp lost the handle on it. Nice help defense. Very nicely done there by Hobby. And well, who's the foul? Who's the foul? Number 40. He couldn't have gotten much better than that. No. His guy prevented the ball from getting there. They tried to go over the top. Yep. Great help side defense. Misses the shot. Gets the rebound. And we get the foul on him. And we get the foul. I'll take that all night. Yes. Exactly. Help, 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 help. Lee's camp, you gotta hang on to those, bud. Yeah, I think you're going to see Central do it at this point, obviously, try and milk as much of that shot clock as they can. Yeah. Unless they have a wide open look. Yeah. Good there by. Down 52 to 44 with 2.35 left. I think you're at the point where we start getting to the three point line as quickly as possible and firing them up? I would think we're almost going to have to. Be a I think we're going to have to build some barricades around the booth next time. I know, that's just insane. Like we've they don't just get have, it. We've just been run attacked like four times by flying. Please, please that way. I mean, they literally climbed over our cases. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I know they're eighth grade. Right. Seventh grade. I don't know how old they are. Did I just sound like the crotchety old man? Yeah, it's, it, you okay. know, I mean, it is what it is. So watch the game, you know. Instead of running, you know, you're old enough that you should be watching the game. Second one, no good rebound to it. That's our, our boxing out could definitely use some work. Went for the rebound, but didn't have a body behind him. Whoa. That'd be musky ball. 
What are we calling? And I, they're talking about it again. Well, they're yeah. changing it to DeWitt ball. We got a timeout here by, I think, DeWitt. I think we'll just stay right here, folks. We've got a minute 57 left with 52-44 lead for DeWitt. You know, it hasn't gotten worse in the last minute, but it also hasn't gotten better. You know, our scoring's pretty well distributed here. Yep. We got three guys over 13 points. Right. Is it's, there a hot hand you want to go to tonight? I, at the beginning of the game, I wanted to keep feeding crazy, you know. Um, yeah. But now we're to a point where we can't really. I mean, we got to start making. And, you know, then you're looking at, you know, Hopper and and maybe Hodges and Wieskamp, you know. Um, but I think you do still have time. If you've got an open guy on the post, right? you can bang it down there, maybe. try and draw the foul, get a great ball fake, get him up right. in the air, then get up. I, I think there's still time to do that. Right. But not by much. No. Good defense there. That's our ball. Nice look. Oh, really good look inside. Just short. Oh, you wow. start the foul machine up? Uh, see if we can get a turnover here first and Wies, Wieskamp does pick up a foul there, but that's seven. So one and one here for the uh, DeWitt Savers. And see, the tough thing there is we just gave up 20 seconds. Yep. I think we waited probably too long there. And... Knocked away there by number 24. Timeout by the Muskies. If we could call fouls on the eighth graders, we would be set. Set. Yeah. It'd be amazing. I don't know how you just got another one. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not small. I'm sitting here in a chair. And yet They're still trying to find ways around. Over me, under me, whatever they can do. What are the conversations going on now? Do, do, 
Do we have a little jaw in there? Might have been. So, driving in here. Hodges for three. There we go. There. Now, yep. That makes it 47 to... Let's take another 52 with another timeout here. Set up some, uh, probably a press of some sort, I would assume. So now it's five. Yeah. Are you fouling? I would. I mean, I think you got to start. You got to. You have to. You know, maybe let him get. See if you can get the imbalance pass. You know, steal. It, yeah. And then, other than that, you're fouling. Yeah, I, I almost think you have to. Nope. That way. I need a crash helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've been doing this for like six years. This is worse than it's ever been. I'm sorry. Yeah. So now we got to pick up a foul here. Yep. There we go. Nice job there, Wees Camp. Now they go to this be line. For, no, yeah, still nope. eight foul. We've still got a one and one here. One and one here. So we need to get a miss here and get the rebound. And he does get the first one to fall. You know, and this is one time the absolute worst thing that could happen. Yeah, is an offensive rebound. Yeah. Exactly. And he does get both of them to go. So we don't want to foul him again. <laughs> coast to coast. And he does pick up the foul. Nicely done there that by... That was a nice recovery. Yeah, nice, nice there by Hopper. He'll go to the line for two. He actually got trapped under the hoop. He went a little too deep. deep. But... He did step back and draw the foul and make the first one, miss it, get the rebound. I'm greedy. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, now you got to make this one. You know, just the other night, the boys were doing free throw drills and rebounding in practice. If the offensive team got the rebound, the others were doing push ups. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got to say, looking at what's going on tonight. Drilling him early and hard on that's a great yep. idea. Yep, I agree. And we do get a turnover. All right. I mean, it's a two-possession game here. We're down by six. You can get a three off right away. I mean, obviously, the shot clock's off at this point. Right. Emmer. Get in there. Ah! So, 19 seconds left. He'll go to the line for two. That's a tough one. I don't... I was hoping he'd get the roll there. And... Gosh, darn it. That's... Three points right there at the line that costs. And now, I, you know, I mean, if you're Coach Torelli, you've got to find a way to pick the kids up. They're hanging their heads. Yep. They're still, these guys can shoot threes. Yep. They can do this. Yep. You've got to find a way to get some juice in their legs. Something. 
you know, and and maybe you know maybe if it's you got to have that guy step up too, you know, that leader, have that one, have somebody be a leader. And, you know, I think if I'm the Central DeWitt coach, I think I'm, guys, get it to the shooters. Yep. Just be patient. They're going to be coming at you. Exactly. Just hold the ball. Hold the ball. Hold the ball. Possession arrow is in our favor. Ooh. That would be nice. So, you know, I will say this. You know, for the Muskies, as soon as they throw the ball in, if they can get a jump ball, great. But... If you don't get the jump ball, you better be fouling right after. Exactly. There you go. Nice switch on the screen on the inbound. Ah! Oh, so close. Almost got it. Man. Might have to go back and count frames on that one and see if they actually got it. That's our ball. That is. He didn't touch it. Yep. Yeah, Hodges didn't that touch it. That is what we need, guys. Yep. There Hopefully we go. Hopefully that's a little lift they need. Get that spring back in their stuff. It's our ball. It's our ball. Out the crate. Pop it. Weiss camp for three. Hodges, and the basket! No! No, there was a foul underneath. Oh! You know, this is the time where you wish it was the NFL, yeah. and you could decline the penalty, penalty take the shot. shot. Wow. But, you know, I suppose in this case, wow. you get to the free throw line, it's a one and one. Yep. You got their ninth foul, so from here on out, it's two. Right. I mean, hopefully they'd be smart enough not to be fouling from here. There we go. So if we get another, that's now, 51. Here's the thing. We're a made free throw away from a one possession game. Exactly. So. There you go, there Hodges. Go. Now we need a turnover. We've still got two timeouts left. We've been playing tremendous. There it is. There it is. Yes! There it is, Chris. Yes! That is yes! we needed. That is awesome. Nine seconds left. One point game. Beautiful. And here we are, off kilter. <laughs> off kilter, yep. <laughs> it's, it's win or lose. There is no time. Time. Wow. And the student section is firing up. And, of course, as soon as we put a camera on them, they all decide to calm down. They, there they are. See, they all, they all just calm down. Yep. That's it for them. So, all right. We, we've got nine seconds left. We're down by one. Right. What are you doing? Well, basically, I think what we've been doing, I don't know if they can get the ball in with when we're pressuring like we are I, on defense. I mean, I, our full court press right now has been tremendous. They've yep. been switching on the screens. Yep. And not only have they been switching, they've been anticipating the screens. Right. They're, it's like they're not even there. And it's really, I mean, and if we don't get the inbounds pass, we got to foul. I mean, like, absolutely. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know that was legal. Foul. And we do pick up the foul there with three seconds left. So one and one down on the other end here for number 23 pickup. And, you know, we do have one timeout left. So, you know, if I'm them, you know, that was our 10th. We're shooting two. Right. 
go ahead, try for the first one. Second one, I think you clank it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you clank, clank it. On it on purpose. Yep. Oh, yeah. If, if you miss the first one. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Cause I this, mean, at three and a half seconds, I, man, I'd be tempted. Because here's the thing. It's going to take time to recover and get a timeout. Right. Versus calling it right away after the made basket. What do, uh, do it. Call timeout here. Gotcha. Now, why do you call a timeout here? Maybe talk about defense on a rebound or something, or, you know, after the second one goes, maybe they go to a full court to make it hard instead of an easy... Well, you, you have to make it a yeah. full court. I mean, yeah. you're not going to let them roll it up the court. court right. I mean, so, yeah, yeah exactly. I, mean, I guess to me that would be... That's probably what they're discussing is after the basket, this is what we want you to do. You know, do a full court, make them... So they can't just run up the court. We got nine seconds well, left. And here's the thing: if you make both of them, you could foul. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's. Yeah. But again, that's. Do that. Don't waste the time out here. Right. Wait and see what happens after the free throw or two. Yeah. Then call it. Yeah, I agree. Because now, you, now you're going to be jamming a whole bunch of different options in the kids' heads. Right. I, I don't know. Well, and. and and the kid that needs to be away from it is the kid that's shooting the free throw. I mean, just get him away from it and go do, you know, go think about your free throw. Don't think about what you're going to have to do if you make it, if you miss it. See, like, I, I would just even go. be doing that. Yeah. Like, the last thing I'd want to be doing is thinking about my free throw. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's muscle memory at that point for me. It's, you know, one thing I'm sure my wife, all my friends, actually anybody that knows me would probably say, the more thinking I do, the worse it probably gets. <laughs> so, <laughs> heck, I'll bet half the people that don't know me could probably figure that out pretty quickly. We put s several seconds back on the clock. Uh, We're back up to 6.1. Six. Yeah. Oh, come on. Miss this. First one's good. Now, 6.1 six second, six seconds. That changes it. Yeah. Timeout. Timeout. There we go. Good job. Really good now, work there. So now we're down by two. And we got four and a half seconds showing on the clock now, but it doesn't seem like it should have taken them a second and a half to call a timeout. Because they were all literally yelling it as soon as it touched the ball. So that was our last timeout. So, you know, at this point, it is what it is. Yep. Now, here's the thing. Four and a half seconds. It's time to get the ball up the court. Yep. Do you take the three? Do you take the two? Do you just take whatever's available? Yeah, I think you just take what's ever available. I don't, you don't necessarily need to get the three. Just try to get something and, you know, <clears throat> I think my first instinct is try and move the ball up the court as fast as possible. possible try and get it to the rim and get the two in yep you know and then survive into overtime yeah we did get about uh, half a second back we're at 4.5 okay so apparently it takes about 1.6 seconds to call timeout right seems like a long time to call timeout I feel yeah. like you can do it faster than that. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of thought. And do it takes a time out. <laughs> this is almost like ice in the kicker. It is. It is. And you know, if you're Torelli, you know they're going to do that because they've got one left. Yeah. You know, do you send them out in a fake? You know, or maybe you have two options you know I don't know 
I, I'm all for doing everything to win. Sometimes I wonder, though, you know, if the die's been cast. Right. I, did this timeout change anything? Because you know dang well Torelli's not going to, they're not going to come out with the same thing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think. No, you're not going to come out. Or, I mean, they might like, make it look like they right. are, but I, I don't know. I, it, uh, yeah. But then again, you know, the flip side of that is, I don't know that I'd want to go into the locker room <laughs> if I lost the game with a timeout left on the board. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And everybody back on the court. Luis Camp's got an arm. I was going to say. The, I mean, do you send somebody? Do you jet them down the... And hustle, hustle, hustle. Just go all the way. Don't... Ah! <laughs> Great look. I don't know if I like the shot selection. I, I got to say, I don't like the shot selection. But it was it was so close. If, if he would have kept going, he had an open lane. I, I, did, I agree. He, he had did. a wide open lane. Yep, he had a and wide yeah, open lane. Now, I, I like the ballsy going for the win. win. I do. But, but, man, that's tough. Yep, man, that's, that's tough. tough. So the final score here is DeWitt 55, Muscatine 53. Uh, let's just stay here. Let's go right into our hustler of the game. I think we're calling it. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Yeah, we'll go. Somebody send us some messages. What should we call the award that we're going to give out for the hustler of the game? You know, the guy that gets, you know, the loose balls, the guy that's setting the screens, the guy that's, you know, doing all that stuff. What are we going to call that? Somebody send us some messages. Give us a good idea. Yeah. Um, tonight, for me, that's a tough one. Um, for me, the other night, it was pretty pretty self-evident that it was Jazzy the other night. Um, Cray, maybe? Yeah, I was thinking about Cray. I think we go with Cray. Yeah, I we do. I, I do, too. I, I, I'm leaning. I know the shot's going to stick in our head there at the end. But other, I mean, he, he played a really good game underneath, especially started us out, out of the gate great. Yep. And uh, did a lot of good things. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say Cray. He got a lot of loose balls and uh, worked really hard on the boards underneath like he always does. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you and say Cray. Okay. Let's yeah. go with that. Yeah, we'll give it to Cray. You know, and as, as we look at the last, you know, minute and a half of this game, I, I don't know that there's really anything you question. You know, nope. are there things that you wish maybe bounced the other way? Of course. You know, I, and maybe he didn't see the lane open, yeah. you know, again. You know, and that's... That's the tough thing, folks. You know, it, it's really easy up here in the cheap seats for us to go, right. geez, the lane was wide open. Exactly. And it was very possible he didn't see it. Yep. You know? Um, and you got 17 people yelling at you, so it's not like right. somebody can tell you <laughs> what to do. do. Exactly. So, you know, you just yeah, you wish they would see it. But, um, you know, and, and, and in that situation, I think it, I know Craze uh, is a senior, but I think basketball knowledge, he's a little bit green, if I can say that. You know, so maybe yeah. he didn't quite – see that you know yeah, um, uh, you he's know, a I very think, good athlete well he covers so much ground with yep. each step yeah if he could have gotten around that i mean you're two steps from the rim right you know and you can take it in stand the chance if you, if you draw the foul yeah which i mean the way they were playing defense there's a decent shot shot you know it's going to be a two-shot foul right you make both free throws you're into overtime exactly and i i will say this i think if this game would have made it to overtime oh i think we win the game. I, I think we win the game i think we yeah. And, you know, we're back to that off-kilter scoring yep. versus even then up two. So, right. ladies and gentlemen, they fought hard. Gosh, yep. we've said that a lot this year. Yep. Man, they, they fight hard without question every night. Exactly. They keep it all on the court. But the one thing I will say, you know, you'll see them out here in, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes after they get showered and ready. It, you can tell it weighs on them, but they don't let it eat out. Right. Right. I mean, and you got to love it. Yeah, it, you know, you definitely have to, you know, take it with a grain of salt sometimes. And uh, this one's going to sting a little bit. 
but you know you got to move on and uh, learn from it that's the biggest thing is learn from it and uh, move forward yeah and and I'm sure they will because we've seen it all season long correct they they're a significantly better team oh, than gosh, they were yes. the first time they tipped the season yep they're a better team than they were three weeks ago yes exactly um, having Emmer back on the floor definitely helps it help fun yeah you know I think there's a lot of confidence a lot of leadership there that you definitely notice when it's not there but exactly geez. again folks couldn't ask for anything more out of these kids so yep. you know, I think with that note we're gonna call the weekend for the discover Musketeen sports network yep and uh, everybody enjoy your weekend we'll be back next week with more musky basketball more musky basketball